All right, this is the uh, open source ecology car number one test car, the chassis being cut. We're using a $89 bandsaw that we bought with a coupon from Harbor Freight. We've spent the last two hours accurizing it to cut 90 clean enough to weld. So 90 to 132nd of an inch square. We're using a fairly aggressive saw blade because we're cutting aluminum. You can cut aluminum almost with wood saws, but they respond fine to steel saws too. Blades, that is, the, the tooth. I think this one is uh, 21 TPI, probably. For the line, we measured with an accurized tape measure and then drew a thick mar magic marker line and then measured again and uh, scribed the line with a razor blade one one hundredth of an inch wide also the tape measure for measurement if we use the end the end slides in and out an eighth of an inch so we start the measurement at one inch, right in the center of the one inch tip, instead of the ends, because the ends less accurate. And then we go to, say it's a 40 inch part, then we go to 41 inch, right in the middle line, and then scribe that in. It's slower on the top because it's cutting through the wide surface, then it cuts through the sides very quickly, and then it's slower on the bottom it's got that whole wide surface to cut. It's being supported at the other end approximately. Right, and at the far end, it's shimmed approximately. But as long as it's level with the saddle of the saw, we're gonna be cutting it, um, cutting it flat. And we don't wanna push down on the saw, otherwise we tend to work the cut out at the end, so it cuts at an angle. So we let the saw's own weight do its work. These two 10-foot extrusions become the chassis rails. So well, that's almost done. Here's a welded up chassis. You see the 10-foot sections on the sides. There's four of them all together. And then there's four 40-inch sections. And then six 12-inch sections, and that's it for the uh, 14 pieces. Now, the 12-inch and 40-inch sections need to have absolutely square ends, but the 10-foot sections don't have to have square ends at all really. In fact, they could even be a little bit longer. So we start with the 10 foot sections as we make sure we're, we're cutting accurately. And so we have 20 foot lengths here and we can just barely get two 10 foot lengths out of each. So when these two 20 foot lengths are cut, we'll have all four 10 foot lengths that make the essential parts of the chassis, the SGT-01 uh, chassis, uh, Super Grand Touring. 01, 01 is, is where that comes from. Simon from Open Source Ecology, who joined Team WikiSpeed, is overseeing the cut. Bradley Cameron, who's been with Team WikiSpeed for over a year. And this gentleman we just met tonight has come in and helped us out. Your name again? David. David. David's an engineer in the area, assisting with the build of the chassis. There. I didn't mean to make a five minute video, but that's how long it takes to cut four inch by four inch, eight, eighth inch wall, 6061 T6. With an $89 bandsaw. With an $89 bandsaw and a fairly worn out blade. Meanwhile, Ken has just fabbed up uh, turn signal mounts and headlight lenses for our next LED version headlight. And Paul Cameron has been working on the infrastructure of the shop. And uh, um, Rob Huggins just finished working with the CNC router, setting it up for uh, the next set of aluminum cuttings, which will be uh, the suspension modules and jig plates for this chassis. You know, if it's on the last eight, we could apply some gentle downward pressure. 
Yeah, that sound sounds better. Oh, not that much pressure. Simon, how strong are you? That was one finger. <laughs> we still need to adjust our automatic shutoff switch. There we go. Excellent. There we go. Two 10 foot chassis pieces uh, complete. One more to go, and all four 10 foot chassis pieces will be done.